So I'm securing the, the toe that I'm working, that I'm nipping on with my left hand. Uh, and I start with little tiny nips, and you can kind of put your thumb across it to hold them from popping out, but because we're filming this, I'm going to just let them pop out. So you do nip, small little nips, and these are nice rounded edges, and they're very cool little nipper. I think this is my favorite nipper. Now, I'm not going to use this on this bigger nail, because it's you want to use small nippers with small nails so I'm going to go to a bigger nipper I'm just randomly picking one that I have that's bigger and this is one that I use a lot I'm starting in the middle because this is a curved nipper so I'm starting in the middle on that one then I'm turning it backwards this is this kind of strange way I've developed of holding the nipper for going backwards so I can see what I'm doing so that's all I'm doing as far as nipping okay now we're going to go to my little file and I am going, these are some of my burrs, just a little example. I'm going to take a little carbide burr that's cone shaped to smooth out these rough nails. So I turn it up high speed, this goes 30,000 RPMs. I hold it as like a pencil. And the, the big thing here is you often, you're often going to get your glove caught in your thing. It doesn't hurt you, it just kind of scares you. But just be aware to try to keep your glove away. But don't be surprised when it happens. So I'm just kind of taking this rounded cone-shaped carbide burr and smoothing this edge. And that's all that one really needs. This is actually sort of a tabletop ingrown in a way. There's this long nail border that kind of slants down. So I'm going to thin this. I'm going to thin this across here, but I think I'm going to go in and get this little corner out. I tend to like to get corners out. Some people go straight across, but I say to cut each nail the way that that nail needs to be cut. I want to get that little corner out. I don't like it. So I'm going to take my little nippers here. I'm going to place it on the top part and I'm going to just tiny ease that out. Okay? And then I'm going to take a little curette, or you could take a file, or you could take, which one was it? Oh, this one. Okay. And clean, kind of clean, see where the edges are there. And let me know if anything I'm doing is. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then oh, I get. I will. Okay. And then I'm going to just. Oopsie! See, perfect. That was just. I couldn't have planned that better. It scared me, but <laughs> it didn't hurt me. Because these gloves are a little big for me. I'm using gloves that are a size too large. So I'm just going to kind of quickly go across these. And you can use the carbide a little bit on the skin, but I'm going to switch to a diamond in just a minute to finish off. So I'm doing the edge of the nail. That could be thinned down a little bit. And now I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to take this one out. I'm going to select a diamond burr. There is many different... Actually, let me see. Do I want... A different shape. Yeah, I'm going to switch this out for a cone-shaped diamond burr to go over the tips. Diamond is for skin, carbide is for um, for nail. So I can take this little tiny, and it's kind of finishing touches. Now some people would never even think that you'd have to do anything like this, but I, I like it. That's the part that I really enjoy about nail care is being able to do these final touches, which you can only do with the right equipment. And you have to have a high-speed rotary file and the right burrs. And actually, this diamond burr I will be able to use. There's a little callus on the bottom of her foot. See, there's a little callus -y up here. I don't know if you can see that right in there. I'm just kind of going along with the tip. It's a very fine little callus right there. Okay. And then this one, it's a little 
kind of callousy around there. So this is definitely the rounded edge. You don't want to use diamond a lot on nails, so I'm going to just do this little callousy part here. And flatten that out. Okay, so I'm happy with, with her toes there, but she's got these other issues, which is the callus here. And you know what? I'm going to change burrs again because the tip of this isn't going to really be great for that. So I'm going to, I'll am gonna. i show you an example of an emery. This is not sterilized, but they're single use. This is a sandpaper kind of a burr that's made specifically for this. And you just want to do a lighter touch with this type of burr because they can get a little hotter. So I kind of tap, tap, tap it. This is my tap, tap, tap. Really light. How's that feeling for you? Okay. So far, so good. So this is going 30,000 RPMs. Tap, tap, tap. And then I'm going to get this little callus over here, too. So the advice I would give, you just want to make sure that people are wearing the right shoes and socks and she needs a, her skin's a little dry, so I'm going to put on some of my homemade salve. But if they have a good emollient, you don't want one with perfumes or water-based. You want more of a salve, oil-based sort of a thing. And I'm going to actually clean this up a little bit here. Just show that you could use this on the tips of nails. I can do a little bit more on the skin here. Okay, so I'm pretty happy, and what do you think? That took maybe five minutes. I'm going to finish it off with, this is my homemade salve I call Lion's Paw. And what I do is I just use an individual, um, I don't put my hands, I use this 4x4 four four in the jar. So you don't contaminate it. And I'm going to just kind of give her a little foot rub with this. This is also the only time that I recommend that you put moisturizing between the toes. In general, you don't want to, uh, but her skin is so dry and this is more of a treatment. I'm going to get a little bit more of that out. Get a little bit more salve. Usually I have a different container. It's kind of hard to get it this way, but it's what I've got. Okay, now I've got a glob of it up there and it really, really nourishes the skin. It just changes and it's a simple recipe with olive oil, beeswax. I grow my own herbs oh, that go good. into this. So I make this. Mm -hmm. It's sort of my hobby, passion, okay. but it all ties in with my work. So, okay, so you can relax and you can see now her skin looks better. The nails are all smoothed and short and the calluses are gone. And good. that's it. I think you're good to go. One down. All righty. Okay. okay, my dear.